guys, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day today. I am having a fabulous day. And it is that kitchen talk time with Grandma. Okay, it's time to sit down and just have a little conversation. Gonna kind of try to keep it short and sweet. You know, usually on today, um, I usually try to throw a little entertainment in my uh, weekly uh, videos and, you know, try to let you guys know what's going on with the entertainment and my little two cents on it and this and that. So today, I mean, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on in the world. And um, this is something that this subject, I, you know, I've been following it and uh, everything, but I hadn't spoke on it yet. So what I'm referring to is the Brittany Griner uh, situation. And if you guys follow the news, you know she is a uh, WNBA uh, player. She's a women's bas national basketball player. And she's really good. And she goes overseas, you know, to play in different leagues over there and stuff. So if she was over in Russia um, playing over there. And I think when all this stuff uh, kicked off with uh, Russia and 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 um, Kuwait and 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 all that, uh, they was you know getting everybody from over there. So when she was proceeding to leave Russia, she got detained. This was back in February. She got detained over there when she was going through security. And if I'm if I read it right or remember right, she. Um, she had a viper pipe or a viper cartridge and it had uh cv oil in it a hash oil in it which is illegal in russia and i guess you know it's considered a drug over there and that's what they detained her for back in february and she's been um you know, locked up over there ever since then. And now here it is, July. I mean, she's had a couple of court appearances, And I know the last one she had was the 1st of July, July the 1st. She was supposed to have been going to court. And I think when she went, they delayed it once again on the 1st. It was um, delayed because two of the witness, I guess two of the security people that detained her, I don't know, didn't, wasn't there or didn't show up. So that now they have detained her. Um, they detained it for another week, which was last week on the 7th. They detained it to then. But uh, when I was watching about it, when I got back home from um, Georgia, she had written um, President Biden this letter on the 4th. Um, she had written him a letter and I'm just going to, you know, I was reading over a little bit about the letter and she was just saying as she, this is her saying, as I sit here in Russia, Russian prison, along with my thoughts and without the protection of my wife, family, friends, uh, or any accomplishment, I'm terrified to be here forever. This is what, you know, Brittany is saying to the president in her letter. And, you know, it goes on, you know, basically she is saying that, um, you know, she misses her family. She's there alone. She don't know what the outcome is going to be. And she talked about on the 4th of July, normally her family uh, normally honors the service of those who fought for our freedom, which includes her father. He is a Vietnam uh, veteran. And she was just saying it hurts her to think about how unusual celebrating this this. 4th of July day because of freedom means something completely different, you know, this year because she is locked up behind Russian bars. So it, it's just really crazy. You know, a lot of times you, you, you know, we as Americans, you go into these different countries, you got to be careful. You have to be extra careful because a lot of things that we're allowed to do or have or this or that or whatever is, is not in these communist uh, country. They are very strict. They're communist anyway. And they're just not going to tolerate, you know, any of that. You know, the littlest thing, you know, they're saying that she's um, unfairly being held and being charged, you know, for having, for just having that uh, Viper pipe or cartridge or whatever you want to call it, that is it's not that extreme. You know, to us, it doesn't seem like it's that extreme. And they may have, you know, arrested her for other reason than what they're saying. They may have done it because of this war that's going on. 
or the way they're feeling towards, you know, President um, Biden. And now they got a, a United States um, a NBA, a WNBA player in their hands, and they're going to, uh, you know, try to process her to the fullest extent, which is crazy because when you think about that, you're talking about uh, she can get up to 10 years in jail or prison or whatever you want to call it. And you have crimes, you know, in, in the United States that's for, for what she's been held for that's really, you know, may get a slap on the wrist. But they're they're going to, you know, they can prosecute her to the fullest extent. And it's, it's kind of crazy. But, you know, when I was reading the letter, I was kind of, mm, because, you know, she was pointing out, you know, that she support Biden and she voted for him. Uh, against, you know, former President Donald Trump. And I'm like, okay, now what do all that got to do? You know, you're right into this, to the president, whether it's a, a Democrat president or if it had been a Republican president, you're still writing to get your help, to get help from them and to, for them to know, you know, because she's saying, please do all you can to bring us home. I voted for the first time in 2020 and I voted for you and I believe in you. Now, this is Brittany speaking, writing in her letter to President Biden. And she's saying, I believe in you. I voted for you in 2020. This is the first time I ever voted. And, you know, don't basically, you know, I still have so much good to do with my freedom that you can help restore. And she's saying how she missed her family and all that and her teammates. And then she says, it kills me to know they are suffering so much right now. I'm grateful for whatever you can do at this moment to get me home, you know. And I'm sure if there's anything that he can do to get her home, that, you know, they're working on it. But it's not, it's it's easier for us to say this on the outside looking in than for them because it's all so, it's all politics. It's all so political and it is so many different things you have to do to maneuver these these trays or getting a person from those comments, uh, comments, um, countries and getting them to to be on to get them on board with releasing these people because you know she's not the only one that they're holding captive over there there is also another another gentleman i don't know if they mentioned that i, I that's that's being held over there that um you know that's there too and he's been there like for a couple of years so I think they're really trying to get her and him both out you know a couple of months ago they had gotten this other gentleman from over there. So I think they're actually trying to get both of them from over there, her and him. So, you know, I don't think that the president is not trying to do what he needs to do to get them from over there. But, you know, we also got to understand that he can't just pop, you know, snap his finger and they let her come home. It definitely doesn't work that way. It's gonna take some time for her to, you know, to, to get from over there. And I, you know, I, I, I'm glad that she took it upon herself to reach out to the president and to write him this letter. But it's like now, you know, she's saying, well, I, you know, I voted for you. You need to get me from over there. I ain't never voted before, you know, and all that. But, you know, it could have been, hey, what, if, you know, would it have moved any, any faster if it had been Donald Trump still in office, former President Trump on there? I don't know. You know, I think Biden is doing what he can to try to get her out of this situation and to get her back to the United States. Because like I said, once again, we don't know what's gonna happen from this situation. We don't know how much time she's gonna have to be in there. I mean, she's only been in there a few months where you got this other gentleman that's been there already for a couple of years. So we don't know, you know, what's gonna be the outcome. I do hope she gets out and she gets back to the United States. And it's definitely a lesson learned for her and anyone else that may be going, you know, over there for sports, for, to play sports or whatever the reason is, what we can do here in the United States when it comes to Viper and and, 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 and the CBO oil or, or they call it hashish oil or whatever it is that we can illegally do here is illegal to do over there in these different countries. And they're going to take that totally different and, and, and the outcome is going to be totally different. So I hope, I hope Brittany um, gets out soon. I definitely would not like for her to be there for 10 years or years or anything like that because you know it's 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 a lot it's a lot and I, and I am really probably really I'm very sure that her parents and her wife and her teammates 
and everybody in her family and her circle is feeling some kind of way about her being there. I, I, I could not even imagine, you know, what they're going through and how they're feeling uh, with this situation because, you know, with everything that's going on with this war and over there and, and all this kind of stuff, you just never know what's, you know, what's going to happen. And you never know how that outcome is going to be. And, and like I say, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see your child locked up in a, at all, period. But then to be in a whole different country that you really can't do nothing. You know, you can't even be there to show support. You know, I think I think at one of her trials, her wife was supposed to go over there. I don't know if she even made, made it over there. But then they delayed it, you know. So I don't know what this outcome is going to be. I'm trying to see. I was really looking for the other guy's... Um, name that's over there also yeah but you know with everything that's going on with the ukraine and and, and russia and, and and them with that fight that's going on and them you know basically trying to take over just the ukraine and and any american it's just like you know they got those two americans over there also after they you know what about a couple of months ago a month or so ago that's here from like the north alabama area that they got uh, and they holding them for prison war war crimes and got them in there and I don't we don't know what's gonna happen with them and their family is on pins and needles you know praying and hoping that they get get from over there and they're you know and they're in there for war crimes and she's in there for this what we think is a little misdemeanor crime but it's it, it, you never know same like all the crimes is is really hard <laughs> and harsh so. You know, it's, it's it's just, you know, and even with those guys that went over there, they was volunteering to go over into Ukraine to to help the Ukraine Ukrainians out. And she was over there to play the sports, play basketball, and just mistake, bad mistake. You know, she had to, I guess, taking the, the Viper in there with her. So I guess going in, it wasn't, the security wasn't as strict or they didn't check it as as completely or as as intent as they did with her coming out to come back to the united states i don't know how she managed to get it over there and there was nothing that they didn't detect it but coming out they did so i hope it worked out for Brittany. i hope she gets from over there i hope all the americans that they you know that's over there it works out for them you know it's 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 sad when you you know situation like this happen but um you just got to be careful when you're going into these other countries, even going on vacations and all this stuff. You got to make sure you're on your A's and Q's and you got, you know, all your T's crossed and you ain't taking nothing up in there that you don't need to be taking or trying to bring something out that you don't need to be trying to bring out. You know, when you go to security, you need to make sure you, you ain't got nothing that's going to hold you up because I don't even know how I would even be, t be able to, to handle that. You know, with no support, being in a whole totally different country. And I'm sure she don't understand their language. I mean, I'm sure there's interpreters there to help her to translate when she's going to court and this kind of stuff. And I think they send the United States um, ambassadors or different people that can go in there and, and, and try to help represent her and talk for her and translate. But that's a lot. That's a lot that you have to process and go through, you know. But that's what it is. You guys can go and read about it. It's, it's constantly on the news, so you can keep up with it like that. But let's just pray for Brittany and all the Americans that's, that's held, kept, uh, detained over there in Russia, okay? All right, guys, I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, as you go about your day, just be kind. Just, just, you know, just have a great day and just be kind to people. Just think about what we do have and the freedom that we do have here in the United States and be grateful for it, okay? Guys, don't forget to go back, share my video. Um, if you have any comments, leave me a comment. And just thank you for all your support, okay? I'm going to check you guys out next time around.